I'm like, where's the journey? I need everybody protesting. Meet me outside at 12 o'clock. We're going to protest, have a sign, and say, we need the journey. Right. Well, hey, where two or more are gathered and there's a mic, this is this is your this might be your moment to shine. I also coach, so generally around this town, I'm screaming at little kids, not directly, but like indirectly, because they over there, and I'm like, "What you doing, son? Make the tackle!" And you know, so I messed the voice a little bit, but you know, I, I got a little something. So we have a we have a, a great, really quick program for you today. Before we get into it, I did just want to invite. Um, you into the world of this incredible man here. Um, Dr. Vic, Dr. Vita Pickham said a little bit about him, you know, that he is an artist, he's a, he's a, a musical artist as well as a fine artist, um, but he also was uh, an NFL player and uh, a, quite an accomplished athlete. Talk to us about what you've been doing over the, since we were here last year. Since, it? okay, so for those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Mary McCants from, uh, where I'm from, Maryland. And I came here and graduated in 96 and graduated in 2000. Um, ended up being Hall of Fame. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we stayed Hall of Fame in 2011. Um, and I say currently, we're working on the athletic transformation of Delaware State University. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can we get a pop? Yes. Athletic transformation of Delaware State University. Uh, but that's pretty much been the latest thing. Um, I, I coach, I teach, I mentor in special education at Westville High School in Virginia. Um, I can say that mentor, coaching, and then of course working on this athletic transformation is probably the biggest thing right now. Um, just trying to bring like, the world's different, right? So these kids want the glitz and the glamour. If it don't look shiny, why am I going? Why do I want? So we have to make Delaware State look shiny. Yes. And that's where the process is going. Um, I don't know if I can talk too much about it, but. I'm sure Dr. Allen's going to be here a little oh, yeah, later. He's going to tell us all those plans. Right. And, it's, and it's part of why we're here. Because, yeah. you know, giving back to the, our alma mater, to Delaware State University, keeps this university, um, you know, growing. And it's, it's the engine that just keeps on going and going and going and, and, um, and, and just producing such amazing talent. Every place I go now, I was, at, I was in Vegas last night um, hosting another conference for um, Corporate Council of Women of Color, all black and brown female lawyers, 2,000 awesome. black and brown female lawyers in this conference, and it just felt amazing to be in that city. But you know what? I ran into people from Delaware State University. And All of us. Yes, and it was just like, we're just everywhere. I love us. Don't you hey, love us? What's happening? I love us. So anyway, um, you, you all know me. I'm, I'm Kathleen. I, I grew up here in Dover, Delaware. Went to everything here: Dover High School, William Henry Middle School. Dover High didn't look like it does now. Let's just say that. But I made it through. Um, and then I, I did. I, I wanted to be on television since I was really little. And Delaware State did not have a mass comm program back then. And so I marched into the then president's office and, and asked why we didn't have mass comm. And that question led to. I can't say I did it single handedly. There were a lot of us who really wanted. You know, a TV and film program. But you, you know what? Yeah, we planted the happen. seed and we made it happen. And it's one of the largest majors now here at Delaware yes, State is. University. I'm really, really proud of that. Yeah. So, but I went on and to. You also have a scholarship, right? I, I, you know, I, I, I kept a, a scholarship, an endowed scholarship um, that I give back to, you know, help a student. You have a scholarship. Here. I have an endowed scholarship. Yeah. Yep. yep. So. And that's for the art school. So, whoever the art, any art majors? No art majors over here? Mark? Come Mike. Mike, Mike. All right, but the future will be the creatives, right? The new world is AI, yes. and yeah, if yep. you can't create, you might not have a job. So exactly. we're going to work on this art department and get this art department popping like the mass communication. Yeah, yeah, we have big plans for mass communication. But I, I uh, started in that, I did internships there, led to every internship I did at Dell State, and I always tell students, do internships and make it turn into jobs. I interned at w, uh, w, uh, DOV Radio, you know, Dennis Jones remains one of my mentors to this day. I interviewed, um, interned at WBOC TV, which became my first TV job, CBS affiliate right here in Dover. Um, WAFL Radio, that was my first radio job. And then I uh, ended up in New York City and, and was a news anchor in New York, which is the number one market in the country. So um, Dell State produces great talent, but you, you just have to, you have to have that dream and then you can make a dream come true, and those dreams come alive here. So don't sleep on our little alma mater. On is doing big things. Amen, amen. And it's the number two.
number two, or number three, yeah. number three HBC, public HBCU in the country. We gotta check the stats on that. They just don't know what we yeah, do. Yeah, no, nah, we gotta check the stats on that. I think we're number one. Dr. Allen's working on it. All right, we have an incredible program for you. Um, we're gonna skip around just a little bit because we wanna give everyone an opportunity to uh, grab some food and then we're gonna have some entertainment. Um, you heard the, the band over here, but right now I would love to bring up uh, Miss Yancey Hollis to deliver the invocation. Miss Yancey, over here. A proud student here, sophomore student.